Hey guys, welcome back to another Titus Diary Inventory Reviews. In this video, we are going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Infinite Series Superior Spider-Man from the Build-A-Figure Wave Green Goblin. As you can see from the photos, Superior Spider-Man comes in the standard window box Marvel Legends packaging. This allows you to see the figure as well as the accessories and build a figure parts within. The side of the packaging uh, has artwork that showcases the figure in the box. And the back of the packaging shows us the product shot of the figure as well as a short bio and of course any other figures required to complete this wave. Alright guys, and here he is out of the packaging, and I'm not going to lie, I have had this guy for quite some time, uh, hence the reason why the packaging part of the review was photos, um, but I have to say that I very much enjoyed posing this guy around. Now, before we talk about the actual figure himself, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what he comes with, and basically he comes with the two flipping hands. And he comes with two semi-closed fists slash grabbing onto web line hands. Uh, they're very well detailed. The paintwork on both of them came out fairly well. I would have to say for the figure itself, uh, the paintwork for the most part came out pretty good. I have a couple spots where it's not the best, but hey, I can't complain. Uh, the sculpting, I'm just going to bring him up here so you guys can see his head here a little bit better. Uh, came out really well. And like I said, the line work for the most part is also done well as well. The body mold they use looks nice. I do think the hips look a little wide, uh, but you don't really notice that uh, when you have them posed. And on my figure, the legs are slightly warped out of the packaging. I've, I haven't gone ahead and fixed it, mainly because I usually have them posed on like a jumping pose, so it doesn't really matter. But overall, I really like this figure. Now a little history about the figure itself, in case you don't know uh, the character that this figure is based on. Um, it is actually Doc Ock uh, as Spider-Man. Uh, so there's a particular series where uh, Doc Ock was dying uh, and he switched his consciences to Peter Parker's body uh, and became Superior Spider-Man. Uh, later on, Peter Parker was able to reclaim his body and came back to being the normal Spider-Man. Um, let's go on and talk about the articulation, and then, we'll, and then we'll do a couple comparisons. All right, guys. So his head is on a hinge and a swivel, so he can look up and down and left to right. He doesn't have a rocker, um, so he can't tilt his head side to side. He has ball joints in the shoulders that allow his arm to go this far up this far down so not a big range of movement there but he does have some uh, and it can do a th full 360 if you wish to do so I don't typically do it uh, he does have a butterfly joint to allow movement of the arms forward and backwards uh, for some better posing he does have a bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows and double jointed knees He has wrists that hinge and swivel as well. He has an ab crunch that bends this far forward, bends this far back. 
He has a hip swivel, upper thigh swivel, T-jointed leg joints, and his feet can hinge down this far, hinge forward this far, and he does have an ankle rocker which allows for ankle pivot. All right, guys, so here is Superior Spider-Man standing beside Black-Suited Spider-Man and Captain America. So, guys, thanks again for checking out today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my latest dioramas uh, and uh, toy reviews. Uh, and as always, guys, stay nerdy.